Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you this full face of BH Cosmetics. I did my best to try to do a full face too, but there are were just some products here and there that I didn't have from them. And I'm not really sure if they have certain items because I did purchase these um, a while back. I just, um, a lot of things happened so I wasn't able to film this uh, at that time. Since I've been having these products for some time now, I have used some of them. Uh, so some are like a first impression and some are not. So without further ado, if you want to see how I created this look only using BH Cosmetics, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to be priming my eyes with the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer in number 104 and it just looks like this and you just take the cap off and squeeze some product out so i'm going to do that on the back of my hand and apply that to my eye with a real techniques deluxe crease brush i'm just going to tap that all over until i've concealed all my darkness and my veins Honestly, this concealer goes, uh, like a little bit goes a long way. It's very full coverage and I really like that, but I don't think I like it much for, as a, a primer, like a base, like for the, the eyeshadow. Now that we've got our base on, I'm going to wait until it gets just a little bit tacky. Today I'm going to be using the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition and first I'm going to dip into this shade right here and I'm going to be using a Morphe M513 to blend, to apply that shadow. I'm just tapping in the product and doing very little circular motions but I'm not fully blending it out yet. Now that I've blended that out a little, I'm going to go back into that same shade and build it up. Now I'm going to go into this first shade right here uh, just to place something like between my brow bone and uh, that and this color. I'm just going to use a an e.l.f. crease brush. And then I'm going back again into the third, the first shade I used, um, which is the third shade in the palette, I believe. Using a Real Techniques base shadow brush, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And once I've worked my way like around the crease, I'm going to start blending it into the first shade I used. Instead of uh, placing the brush like this, uh, just flat on my crease, I'm going to tilt it just a little bit, not all the way, to be able to blend th the two shades together. Once I've blended the color, again, I'm going to build it up. And I'm slowly bringing it upwards. I, don't, I didn't want to just place it there and then have a hard time blending the color and then blending too high and stuff like that that's those are things you always want to avoid when doing your shadow especially because i usually start off like looking down into the mirror and just uh, placing the shadow and then when i look up you know it's a whole different thing since my eye folds um when i look up maybe I place the shadow like right here and I look up and you can't see it so that's why I build it up little by little also I know I'm not using BH cosmetics brushes but I don't really have any and I haven't really been buying makeup uh, for a while so I apologize for that like I'm just uh, using Working with what I have, you know. Another thing I would say to uh, blend your eyeshadows well would be 
going back and forth between your brushes like I go back and forth between this one and the Morphe M513 that I first used first I'll go like I'll use the brush with no extra product I just um, go in and blend it uh, but if I do need extra product I'll do I'll add some more shadow to the brush and by adding like that like by going back and forth um, between brushes between shadows I feel like that really uh, helps with your blending to deepen up uh, the crease just a little bit more I'm gonna go into this shade so I'm just gonna use a, a dense brush and it has like a tapered end um, so that will also help with the placement of the shadow then I'm going to dip back into that purpley shade and use the Real Techniques bl brush, not blush, to blend those two together. And then I'm also adding that dark brown to the outer part of my lid. But I'm not going to bring it in too much. Now I'm going to go back into the concealer I used to prime my eyes. And I'm going to cut my crease with that. I was watching MMM, MMM Mitchell's uh, <laughs> live yesterday. I saw that when he was cutting the crease, he was tapping the concealer onto the eye instead of just like, you know, dragging it to create that line. So that's what I'm doing today. And uh, when I did it with this eye, I found that it made things easier for me and once I have the shape I just fill it in um, just by tapping the product in there's really no need to slide things around now that we've cut the crease I'm gonna go into the dark brown from the palette and I'm gonna start off at the bottom first then I'm gonna go into the purpley shade and just tap that in first then start blending it outwards well inwards I mean and then I'm gonna go into this shade right here with an elf crease brush I am, I'm not done with this area, but uh, I'm going to go into the white highlight from the palette. And I'm going to just tap the product into my lid, onto my lid. Can I talk? And I know some of the purple faded away by adding this color, but I'm going to go back into that one as well with a Morphe M506 M506 I'll get back to the eyes uh, later I don't know if BH Cosmetics has primers but either way I don't really use primers so I'm gonna go right into the BH Cosmetics li liquid foundation shade 217 sand um, I'm pretty sure this is too dark for me. I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so I'll be right back. It feels really thick. I know it's going to be too dark for me. You know what? I think I'm going to use some of the concealer. So let's just see how it goes. <laughs> It is not a matte finish, um, so I definitely have to set this with powder. And what I find weird was, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's still a lot of product in here, but I can squeeze it like, like if, you know, I'm like trying to drag like the last bit of it out, and I just found that weird, like. Maybe it's just because I'm used to the concealers that come in with the little applicator. 
So I'm looking at the foundation up close just to see how it looks on my face, if it's sitting well or not. And honestly, I think it is. And I'm not really sure what the coverage for the foundation is since I added some of the concealer to it. Um, and the concealer is full coverage. So probably because I did that, um, it looks full coverage, like it covered some of my um like scars i have right here from some like pimples it is creasing like on my smile lines but every foundation creases there other than that i don't see anything else wrong with it other than the shade so now i'm just applying some of the concealer onto the usual areas you know onto the high points of my face I'm not sure if BH Cosmetics has any translucent powder to set your foundation with. So I used uh, another setting powder. So far, the foundation, it doesn't feel too heavy, but I can feel it like on, on, on my face. It's not like too lightweight. Um, again, I'm not sure if it's because of the concealer, but I can feel like it's on my face. Um, it's doesn't bother me though it's not like really heavy I like it so far uh, so now I'm gonna go into the nude rose sculpt and glow contour highlight and blush palette and it just looks like this this is the matte highlighting shade this is the shimmery highlighting shade and then the bronzer contour blush and I'm guessing well I I would use this for like on top of this blush so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So far I'm really liking the bronzer. It's not too like orangey. I noticed that like I usually tap like really tap into the bronzer and I noticed that it doesn't really have any kickback which I like so it's not really transferring like onto the highlighting shade or anywhere else i'm really liking this palette because it has everything in one place like let's say even if i don't have my setting powder i can still use that yellow powder with the beauty blender and maybe that's what i should have done today Wow, so now I'm gonna use the blush and I'm mixing this shade with this shade right here And you guys know I'm not really well first. I'm not really a blush person uh, Let's be honest. I've used this palette before so I've been liking those two blushes combined because it gives me a like lum lumin luminous finish and it doesn't really look like too pink on me or maybe it's just that I don't apply too much. For highlight, I'm going back into the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to use this um, shade right here. And I'm going to apply that with the Makeup Shack T89 brush. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna go back to the under eyes right now. But first I'm gonna um, do my eyebrows and for that, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil in Brunette. And I've actually been using this for a while. To give you my quick thoughts on it, I do like it. The only thing I don't like is the like undertones. It's too uh, warm for me and I like a more cool tone brown eyebrow pencil. So that's the only issue. Other than that, everything is fine. I like that it has the spoolie on the other side. Um, and it has like enough product like it's lasted me for some time now um, So I really like it. So I, I really do recommend it and it's really not um, that expensive So if you want to try it for yourself, I highly suggest you do I'm happy to say we're having a good brow day So now for my under eyes, I'm going to be using this shade right here first And then I'm gonna go into the purpley shade um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the dark brown shade yet, um, but I think I might. I'm 
And I am going into the dark brown after all. And I'm going to add some of the highlight shade onto my inner corners. For my lashes, they're not BH Cosmetics. Um, I'm not sure if they have any. I can't remember right now. I used uh, two pairs of lashes. I stacked them today and I really like how it came out. I use the Makeup Shack lashes in Style Miami and Penelope. Uh, so I put Penelope on first and then on top of that I put Miami. So finally for lipstick, I'm going to be using um, the BH Liquid Lipstick in Serena. I really thought online this was like a peachy liquid lipstick, but when I got it in the mail it turned out to be pink. First of all, I feel really weird in this lipstick because when I saw it online, it looked peach and then it, I got it in the mail and it looked pink and then I applied, I started applying it and it looked peach and now it looks pink again. So I think I might just be giving this to my mom because I know she'll like it. This is uh, the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any video suggestions you have down in the comments and if you want me to do more of these types of videos like a full face of like Elf or Wet n Wild or something like that, then just uh, leave that down in the comments. Turn on your post notifications by hitting the little bell down below to be notified every time I upload. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!